I'm Jason Kelly and I'm kicking it at Big Yogi's Garage. What's up guys, welcome back to Big Yogi's Garage. Today I got the one, the only, Jason Kelly. What's up, Jason? Hey, what's up? How you doing, man? I'm doing good, how are you? Good, man. I wanted, I, want, I wanted you on my podcast because I went to a Southview, or no, uh, I think Southview Whitmer game, because my stepdaughter, she's a cheerleader for Southview. So we, I went there doing it every time there was a tackle. It was just like Jason Kelly with the tackle, Kelly with the tackle, Kelly with the tackle. So I seen it with my two eyes. Not nobody had to tell me like, hey, have him on. And then not only that, but I interviewed um, Brian Lee. He's, he used to train you or he still trains you. And he, uh, I seen him always training you because I follow him on social media. So when I seen you that day at church, I was like, man, I was like, I got I to gotta interview you one day. So that's why I want to have you on, man. I wanted, you, I, w I wanted to ask you about how, like, your, how your whole like, football started. And Okay, first, first thing I want to ask you is where are you from? Um, from the west side of Toledo. Um, okay. I grew up around, like, it's not a school anymore. It's used to the uh, Washington local area, basically. Okay. I went to a school called Jackman Elementary. It's now called uh, Silver Creek, but... I just grew up in that area, Washington local. Washington local. So that's why you you're going you went to Whitmer. Okay, so but um, okay, so when did your football start? When did your football career ever start? Um, I mean, I was always like in the sports when I was little. I played I played basketball, so mm -hmm. um, I, I I would just like pick up a football. Me and my brother, I got a younger brother, so me and him we would just play football, mm -hmm. and I got into flag football, and um, I just realized my parents really realized like I had something with football, so. I actually, um, I started playing football for the Longfellow Steelers. Mm. So I played, I think I started playing when I was like, maybe like seven, it was like third or fourth grade. And I was just, I was just, I don't know, I just had it. Like I was just, mm. I could hit, I could tackle. I was just, it just, I don't know, it was just in me. So I just stuck, I just stuck with it and it just followed me all through high school. Yeah. Did you play uh, any other position besides linebacker? Yeah, I, I actually used to play receiver. Oh, were you? Yeah, I, was, hey. I used to play receiver my freshman year. I was like offense and defense. I played, I was just versatile. I played offense, I played receiver. Okay. I just played any position on the field, really. Okay, and, 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 it, and it all started with flag football then. Yeah. Flag football when you were like sm way smaller? Yeah, I started yeah, when I was like little, probably like, Six, maybe. I don't know. Mm -hmm. it, was, it was just little, though. Yeah. And then do you still play flag football every once in a while or no? No, I just... No. Not, no. You're not allowed to no nah. more. Yeah, yeah. Because it, it interferes with your with your stuff. Yeah. Okay, because I play flag football. So I, I was just wondering, does, flag, does, that, little, does that flag football stuff kind of translate into real football when you have to shift? Does it make you like yeah, a better... I mean, it, it translates onto the field a little bit, but I mean... Like, they, they got something called like 7-on-7 seven seven now, but I mean, it, it helps a little bit, but it's mm -hmm. really different. Like... So like it, you don't have any pads on, but yeah. like once you get on the field and you have pads on, it's way different. It's, it's way different. Physical and everything. So yeah. people, it's, it's way different. It's way different. Yeah. You get you get to run people over, tackle yeah. people. All right. So okay. So Longfellow Steelers. They're uh, uh, Brian Lee is the head coach to them this yep. year, right? Okay. So tell me a little bit about them. When it, how did how did you start that? Um, I, uh, I would just go outside all the time, and we'd just have a group of friends playing football or whatever. And I really didn't know. I was trying to get into football, but I didn't know where to start or anything. So mm -hmm. I just had some friends and I asked them where they played football. And they told me that they played for Longfellow. So we just went up. We found out when tryouts were. So we just went up there one time. We signed up and then just went with it. And I mm -hmm. just got in there and it just all happened. Yeah. And then and, and you were wide receiver from the get or? No, I actually, when I first uh, started playing, I was a defensive end. I was, defensive yeah, end. I was, I was little, but I was like bigger than most of the kids my age. So mm -hmm. they had me a defensive end, and it wasn't until like really like my eighth grade year. Eighth grade year, I, uh, I started playing receiver for Jefferson, which is like the junior high of Whitmer. Mm -hmm. so that's okay. when I started playing receiver. That's when you started playing receiver. Yeah. All right, so the, uh, did you guys win any championships with the Steelers, or were you guys really good or no? Yeah, actually, um, so it was. They got like sophomore, not it was like Pee Wee's juniors and seniors. So mm -hmm. my junior, I was a junior, and we had we had a bunch of people. We were good. Um, we went, we actually went unscored upon. We mm -hmm. didn't get scored on. We went undefeated, and then we won the. Uh, they have championship games at UT, and we won the championship and everything. Damn, yeah, that's good. That's dope. Yeah, cause uh, I I I've, I've been to those games. Mm -hmm. They have like the Jets and yeah, the Steelers yeah. and all that. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. Cause they actually dress like the Steelers. Yeah. What's your favorite NFL team? 
Um, do you have one? No, I do. I used to have one. I used to like the Seahawks, but now no. I really, I don't have any. Don't yeah, the Seahawks one. kind of fell off, yeah. huh? Yeah, yeah, me neither. I like the Steelers. I've always liked the Steelers, so I'm kind of excited that you played for the Steelers. Yeah. <laughs> like, I, I want to keep asking. I, I, I was hoping you said you liked the Steelers. I was like, yeah, yeah, I got them. Yeah, but that, that's cool because they dress like the Steelers and the other teams dress like the Jets. And I think there's like a Vikings. Yeah, Vikings. And um, this year there's Broncos. a Ravens. Oh, yeah, I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah there's a new because there's a new league coming out. And I seen it was one was the Ravens. I think it was like the Raiders, the Steelers. And I don't know. And the Jets are still in there. Yeah, they're kind of changing it up this year. Or maybe I think it might even be a whole different league. I don't know. I think some of those teams went to another league or yeah. something. They're starting something new. All right, so tell me about, okay, so after the Steelers, then you went to, your, uh, you said Jefferson or something? Yeah, I actually, um, my seventh grade, I didn't play any football. I actually, I stuck with basketball because I played AAU. So mm. I was playing travel basketball. So I took a year off football. And then eighth grade year, I came back and, um, yeah, eighth grade, I was just, I played right receiver. I was just, I just, I don't know. I just was scoring touchdowns and everything. I was, I yeah. thought I was a receiver. Yeah. So my uh, freshman year, that was, yeah, that was, that was like towards COVID year. So I really, I mean, we played football, but it was like, we had to separate uh, and it was, it was just a bunch of crazy stuff. So yeah. I really, I quit basketball then. I was just focused on football. So I was just in the weight room all the time. Like I was just doing whatever I could do to get in work. Mm -hmm. And then my sophomore year, like the summer, that's when everything really just paid off. And then they just wanted me to play varsity football my sophomore year. Okay. And then, okay, so Whit Whit that's for Whitmer, right? Yep. Whit Whitmer, uh, when you first got there, what position was you in? Um, uh, I was, was, I was it wide receiver or no? I was playing wide receiver and linebacker. Oh, were you? Yep. Okay, so you did, you, in the beginning you did. And then what did they, did they notice that you were way better at linebacker? Yeah. The, um, Are you, because you, you probably had that, yeah, that the, toughness. Yeah, I was, I, so I was a, I was a uh, freshman and the varsity coach, so he would always evaluate me at practice and everything. And he would always call me on defense, on the defensive side of the ball. So I would just make plays during practice as a freshman against the varsity team as, as a linebacker. And then. Uh -huh. Um, towards the beginning of my sophomore year, he told me that he just wanted me to play linebacker for varsity. Okay, that's sweet. So then you then you started playing varsity linebacker. Yeah. So yeah. how so how long have you been playing for Whitmer? You're already done. Uh, yeah, I'm. Yeah, I've you just graduated last year. Yeah, okay, I graduated in May. So you played all four years. Yep, all four years. And you were like varsity, like all four. Right, you did one freshman. I, yeah, I dressed. I dressed varsity as I played JV uh, my freshman year, and I dressed varsity. But I've been playing varsity. I started varsity uh, football ever since I was a sophomore. Dang, yeah. that's dope. Not too many people get to do that. Yeah, you got to be like one of the one of the best. You know what I'm saying? All right, so okay, so how did you? Okay, so once you got to Whitmer and you started, like, how did your um, working out? Tell me a little bit about that. How did you progress? You know what I mean? From like, I'm sure you were like more skinnier kid and then yeah. you ended up getting muscles. Tell me a little bit about your working out and stuff like that. So um, I really started like working out consistently um, with my brother and my dad. So this was during COVID. Mm -hmm. um, we like it was during COVID. So we really couldn't go anywhere and work out because everybody had COVID and everything. So my dad, he ended up um, it was a free space or whatever. He bought the place and we just he just started ordering workout stuff. So we just had our own workout space there. Mm -hmm. We just started working out every day, like just consistent because freshman year I did PVA. I didn't even go into school so I could work out like I was working out while everybody was still in school. Mm -hmm. So I was basically getting ahead. So I was just working out in the morning while everybody was at school, just getting bigger. And I was mm -hmm. just eating and everything. Yeah. Yeah. So that's how it all started. Yeah. And then, OK, and then. And then, and then where, once you started getting really good, and then where did you go, go from there to working out? How did you take, how did you take it to the next level to actually get, uh, th did it have to do with Brian and all them guys, or was it before that? No, it was, it was really before. I didn't meet Brian until, I would say, I think I met Brian like end of my junior year. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I was, it really started like, it was, yeah, it was, it started way before that. Okay. And that's when you started getting like, cause like, you had to have been getting like really noticed to to make it to the you know the varsity team yeah. starting line. Were you just starting linebacker too? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then they, they they didn't put you on no more uh, positions after that. Like they didn't have you flip into another position or no. Uh, I just played. I played linebacker and then I played special teams. I was oh on, okay. Uh, yeah, I was on all special teams. Yeah. All right. So okay. So um, what kind of workouts do you do? Like what is the like um. Do you do like explosive? Tell me a little bit about the kind of workouts. Yeah, so when I, I work out with my dad, I work out mm -hmm. with my dad every day. Um, mm -hmm. So 
So like Monday is just like chest. Now, who, who's your dad anyways? Uh, your dad's Jason, yeah, Jason Kelly. Oh, same same yeah, name yeah, as you. I'm a okay, yeah. Yep. So right. we do like Mondays. Uh, we do like chesting tries. Tuesdays is like buys and back. So it's just like that, like just different body parts and yeah. muscles. Yeah, yeah. And then um, I go to another guy. Um, his name is Ryan. He went to St. John's. He does like yoga and explosive stuff, like hips and everything mm -hmm. like that. And then I also got a dude named Cheatham. He went to uh, St. John's also. So I do speed stuff and everything okay. like that. Yeah, so that's what you're doing right now. Yep. But you did you did work with uh, with Coach Lee, right, for yep. a little bit. Mm -hmm. Yep, because, coach. Yeah. And then that was at the Freak Factory, right? Yep. And then with him, you were doing like jump, like bands, jumping and stuff. Yeah, like that, a lot of explosive stuff and speed stuff, and we also did some strength stuff. Yeah, too. Yep. yeah, that's kind of cool. Cause I I, I kind of like support him because he used to play flag football with me. Yeah. And I'm gonna have him on the podcast soon because he he just moved to a new position. Mm -hmm. So I was just wanting to you know bring him up and actually get a let people know kind of what he's doing too yeah. some of his stuff he's doing is good right oh, yeah yeah, definitely. yeah. he's definitely. getting he's getting a lot of the kids ready for yeah. football and yeah, stuff he's great for the community yeah for yeah. the youth yeah he's definitely yeah. great yeah i just want to bring him up a little bit and kind of you know kind of lift him up and uh, actually wish him well and and all his stuff that he has coming up because he's going to be a Steelers a Longfellow's coach yeah. all right so um all right so that that okay so that's how you okay. So now you're you're going to co where? Okay, so you guys won. Tell me a little bit about all the success you had for Whitmer. Tell me some of that. Um, so my sophomore year, um, I actually my sophomore year we went to round three of the playoffs. We ended up losing to a team called Marysville. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, we lost we lost third round. But my sophomore year, like I didn't get any accolades or anything. Actually, like it was just. I mean, I started. I had. I think I was like I led the team third in tackles as a sophomore. Okay. Um. But I, I I didn't get any accolades. I was like it basically just went like unnoticed. So my end of my sophomore year, I had great film, and then um, that's when all the college coaches like really started like coming in like towards the winter, and um, they would just come into school and uh, talk to me and everything, and they just liked like they liked what they seen on film. Mm -hmm. So then that's when I just started to get more noticed. Um, coaches started reaching out to me more, and then I just started going to camps and visiting colleges. Mm -hmm. That's good. And then, did you guys ever win the, any of the like championships? Like your senior year, didn't you guys do My good? My senior year, we, we won the um, we won the NLL, and then we oh. ended up losing um the first round. Yeah, we lost first round my junior year and senior year in the playoffs. Oh, okay. Yeah. Damn, but, but you guys were really good. Yeah. You guys, I mean, were you the t you were the top ta eventually you were the top tackler in the whole team. Oh right? yeah, I was my junior and senior year. I led the team in tackles. Yeah. Oh I yeah. Ended, um, so you went from third all the way to first. Yeah. Dang, so how, I mean, what what do you think was the pivotal thing? Um, like, what do you think, okay, because what if a young kid's watching right now, and he, maybe he's planning on becoming the next yeah. linebacker for Whitmer, what advice do you give him to take it from this step to this step? Um, I would say, like, you really just gotta, you just gotta stay true to yourself. Um, I think, like, you just gotta stay down and grind. Like, you just gotta block out all the noise. I mean, you're gonna have a lot of distractions. Mm -hmm. when you, once you get to high school, it's gonna be a lot of distractions, but I think that's gonna determine, like, what you really want in life, like the goals that you have set, you're going to have to make sacrifices mm. to get to those goals. And like, if you really want it bad enough, you're going to do whatever it takes to get to that point. And mm -hmm. um, I think like you're going to do whatever you need to do to earn your respect and get that playing time that you want on the field. And I mean, in football, high school, or college, I mean, it's like, you got to have the mentality like it's either like kill or be killed. Like it's either you or mm. me. So it's yeah, yeah, it's really no. Yeah, it's just giving or taking. Yeah, it's almost like having a healthy competition, right? Yeah, yeah, like it's me against you, but not not without doing anything, yeah. but just like you got to. Cause there's there's not just one linebacker. There's a few yeah, people that are yeah, everybody wanting the same spot. So you got to do whatever you can do to get that spot. Yeah. yeah. So working out harder. Yeah, I would say working out harder. Like just watching film. Like just like even the little things like really matter the most. Like at mm -hmm. at, at that level. Like just working out. Make sure you're eating right. Um, watching film. Being to practice early. Being the last one to leave. Mm -hmm. Um, like just just the small things. Like little details really matter the most. Like you gotta. You got to learn how to be coachable, like um, take criticism. It's just the little things like mm. that really matter the most and coaches yeah. look at. Those are really important. Those are, yeah. man, the, 
those are really good topics that you're bringing up right now. Attention to detail. Yeah. Not a lot of people are like that. Mm -hmm. And a lot of coaches, especially like in the NFL, that's what they want. They want people to make sure they're, you know, on time. Like you said, you, you told me earlier, I said, man, you're, you're, you was right on time. You was early. And you, what did you say? Uh, I mean, I, my dad, my dad told me this. Um, it was always a motto that he said either be on, uh, be early or be on time, right on time. So yeah, yeah. never want to be late, rather yeah. be early. Yeah, early. And you was here early on time. Yeah. And I was telling you, I commend you because there's there's grown adults that sometimes leave me here hanging. Mm -hmm. So, man, I, I appreciate yeah, you. No <laughs> yeah, 100 percent. All right. So so all that's that's, a, that's some really good advice. To all, so that's how you 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 started paying attention to all them small details and then make sure it took you it took you from from third and tackles all the way to first and tackles two years in a row. Yeah, I think like. And for me, like, um, as I just continue to work, like my work ethic, I think like as you work so much and like as you work so much, it just starts to build confidence in yourself. Like the work that you put in, like it, you just build confidence through it. And like you're like you're going to know, like the work that you put in is going to pay off. And you just got to you got to be different. Like if you really you really want to achieve something, you got to be different. You can't be the same as everybody else. Like if you're doing the same thing as, as this dude's doing right here you're not going to achieve something different than he's doing if you're mm -hmm. doing the same thing. So you really got to be different. Like if you want something different in life, you can yeah. do whatever it takes. You got to take it to like the next level. The next level, yeah. Yeah, the next level. All right. So, okay. So you, um, you guys didn't win the championship, but you guys did really good that year. You were the number one um, uh, tackler in the whole team. Yeah. Is there any other accolades that you got, like yeah. defensive player of the year or something like that? Yeah, my junior year, I got um, defensive player of the year for the track. Um I think like regional defensive player of the year. I got first team all state. Damn. Play it, yep. And um, this year I got uh, I got I had a I ended the season with 126 tackles total. Damn. Um, I got second team all state. Um, trying to think of what else. I got first team all NLL, first team all district. So okay, that's awesome, man. Congratulations on all that. It's beautiful. All right, so 126 tackles in how many games? Uh, 11 games 11 games so it's roughly like a little bit more than 10 tackles a game yeah I averaged I averaged um like 15 tackles a game I had two I had two games with 21 tackles I tied the score record for tackles in a game I had 21 tackles Dang. in one game and then 20 tackles in another game man that's awesome dude dude I'm telling you I'm not lying <laughs> Is it true or not? When no, when you're that, out there, that game that you went to actually, that's the, that's when I tied the record for tackles. Oh, well, was it? Yeah, Twenty one tackles. Okay, that. Oh man, I, that. Thank you for telling me, cause that game it was crazy. Yeah. I was like, I gotta talk to this dude. I swear, because every single play was your name, Kelly with the tackle, Kelly with the tackle, Kelly. and I was telling my girl like. This dude is amazing. I was watching you. Like, the whole game, I'm just watching you. Bow, bow, bow. Did you guys end up winning that game? Because yeah, we left yeah, early. We won. Yeah, yeah. We, it was a close game, but we ended up winning. Yeah. yeah. That, that game, we actually played them during the summer. I think it was in June. I don't know when, but we played them at UT for a 7-on-7. Seven seven. Mm -hmm. So, they ended up beating us in the 7-on-7, seven seven actually. And I think I got scored on, I think, once. And I got he got he caught the ball on me, like, twice, actually. Mm -hmm. So, they were, talking, they were talking after the game, like, obviously, after the 7-on-7. Seven seven, so... I really, it was really like, like per, I take every game personal, but that yeah. one, it was just different because like I didn't, I didn't feel respected, so yeah. I had to earn my respect. So. Yeah. Oh, you earned it. Yeah. The, hey, the, what, them dudes are going to have nightmares over you for years because that, that kind of stuff stings for a while, yeah. like high school games and stuff, especially if you, you man, you, you had 20, what was it, 21? 21, yep. Yeah. I, I could tell that you were doing something amazing. That game was the one that really, like, I was like. Man, this dude is amazing. And that's when I started noticing you more at, um, at the gym. I started seeing more, like, and I would watch you, like, pushing sleds and jumping and stuff. And I was like, this dude is going to be a beast. I, I, really, I really think that you got something, like, so special, man. So, like, so could tell me a, bit, a little bit about your new, your new journey. Like, where are you going? Where, what college are you going to? Um Ohio University down okay. in Athens, Ohio. All right, congratulations. Yeah. And then how did that happen? Did you have to like pay? Did they offer you a position? Oh, yeah, actually, yeah, um, they gave me a scholarship. So, okay. Yeah, um, they offered me a scholarship. Um, I had, I think I had like 13 other different um, schools that had offered me a scholarship, but okay. I just felt like Ohio was the best place for me um, to go compete for a spot early. Yeah. 
Okay, so you kind of did your research a little bit, and you figured yeah. this would be a great spot for me to try to play because mm, yeah, you you, you want to get on the field. Yeah, you know you're not trying to be on the bench, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some some schools are so stacked that if if you get in there, you might not even play the like the third year or something. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it's really smart. Okay, so um, what other tell me like examples of what other schools are reaching out and stuff like that? Um, I got offered by uh, West Virginia, Kentucky, okay. um, Toledo. Oh, you Bowling did? Green. Yeah. Yeah. That's uh, good. Massachusetts, Iowa State. So it was a bunch of schools. Yeah, that's yeah. good, man. That's awesome. And did you have to pick which one you were going to do and all that? Yeah. Did you do like one of those things where you got to pick with the hat? Oh, no, 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 I didn't, no? I didn't, I didn't pick with the hat. Uh, no, but, you um, could have did that though, yeah, right? Yeah. Just put like three hats at a table. Yeah, because <laughs> yeah, I want to do that here one day. Uh, like one day I want to do like a live where where I have like, a, you know, a guy like one, one of you guys to like pick a team because i think that would be sweet too yeah, yeah that is sweet. like to promote uh, actually um one of my teammates carter low he did he just committed to ohio state a couple months ago oh, okay yeah. yeah yeah that's dope was it lineman yep uh -huh, offensive tackle yep. oh yeah yeah those they always get like really good yeah. but them linemen always get them really really good schools yeah yeah, but man, I'm proud of you, man, because it's not it's it's hard to come from Toledo mm -hmm. and just you know what I mean get offers and stuff. I mean, yeah, there's a lot of people that do it, but if you really look at it, there's so there's three hundred thousand people and and there's only a couple people that get them offers. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So you know, I just met you, but still, I'm still proud of you because you're a kid from here in Toledo. I'm I'm from Toledo, and I I just I just feel like you know it's good to encourage people and to make sure you give people props. You know, as as we if we can, mm -hmm. you know, what I'm saying, especially because you're a role model to a lot of young kids. Even if you know it or you don't, there's going to be younger kids that are looking at you, especially people in your family close to you. Like you're an example. You set an example for them. So I I, I commend you, man. I commend you, and I think that you're going to do great things. So tell me a little bit about the cop. Do you know anything about your next your next thing that's going to happen? Um, I leave. Um, I start uh, football. I start college in um, June. I leave June 9th. Yeah, that's when everything starts. Yeah, that's when okay. everything starts. Okay. And then, are you gonna be living over there? You got yeah, a actually, dorm? Yeah, I'm moving into my dorm June night. That's moving. Then. Okay. Are you are you a little nervous? A little excited? No, I mean, I'm I'm I wouldn't say I'm nervous. I'm really excited. Like I'm just anxious to get back into football and just start playing again. Yeah. And how old are you, by the way? Eighteen. I uh, I turned eighteen in uh, January. Okay. That's you're pretty mature because you you talk really good. You know what I'm saying? You you present yourself really good. So that's really good and Thanks. mature. That that's that means that you're ready for your next step. You know what I'm saying? Because some people might not be as mature as you, and that 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 might hinder them by going to cut. You know what I mean? Yeah. They're more scared or stuff like that. But you're more excited, right? Yeah. To take the next step. Yeah, I'm yeah I'm ready to go. I think um I always college has been a dream for me since I was little. I always mm -hmm. wanted to go to college. You know I, I I always had a dream of going to the NFL. But college is like you got to take this levels to everything that you mm -hmm. want in life. So I think college is the next level for me. And um, I got to get through college first if I mm -hmm. uh, want to go to the league. So absolutely, yeah. And then, were you really good at basketball too? Were yeah, I was. Good? I was. I was good at basketball. That's actually why I took a, a year off from football. Yeah. I, was, I wanted. I thought I wanted to pursue basketball, but then after uh, after after the my COVID. year off of football, yeah, I think I just like I fell in love with football more. Mm. You miss because you miss football when you took that year off. Yeah. Yeah. That's good. I, I love football. But the only thing is football is more dangerous. Is. You get more injuries, yeah, more that kind physical. of stuff, yeah. more physical. Do you take a lot of uh, like um, measures to make sure you don't get hurt, stuff like that? Yeah, like the workouts, um, like, uh, like, what I was, like what I was saying earlier, um, I work out with a dude named Brian. He does like injury prevention stuff. Mm -hmm. So yeah, he makes sure like I'm, I'm not injuring my body or anything. And if anything is hurting, he'll do stuff to help me with it. And um, also, I think like as an athlete, like sometimes like you have to you have to take care of your body on your own too. Like ice mm -hmm. baths, like I do ice baths sometimes. Okay, yeah. So yeah, like just the proper proper rest and everything to help sure like that you aren't gonna get injured yourself. Mm -hmm. Like just the proper recovery. And then okay, how about um, how about since you're a linebacker, you're always hitting people. Mm -hmm. Do you do you like make sure you take like the the right forms, the right tackling techniques, stuff yeah, like, like that? Like I was saying, like uh, paying attention to little details. Like mm -hmm. you got to make sure everything you're doing is right. Like proper technique matters a lot because you don't want to go in tackling the wrong way and you hurt yourself so yeah. you gotta whatever the coaches are telling you or like as a sophomore so as a sophomore like um it was this linebacker Jaden Gibson he he got uh all state uh player of the year I think he he had like 130 tackles or something my sophomore year. so yeah so I was looking up to him like he was teaching me everything so I was really just paying attention to every little detail that he was doing mm -hmm. so 
as like as I progressed, I would just learn it and I would use it and take it for mm -hmm. myself. Okay, yeah, that's dope. Yeah, you gotta always be careful with your head, like yeah, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Because I've seen some crazy yeah, like injuries. It's so a dangerous game. always yeah. make sure you, you know what I'm saying? You tackle with your head up. Mm -hmm. You don't ever want to like hurt your neck and stuff, especially because you are a linebacker and you're gonna be hitting some strong ass running yeah, backs and stuff yeah. like that. So you gotta make sure you always take care of yourself. Mm -hmm. And if you feel injured, man, just get on the sideline and get get healthy, bro. Yeah. And don't try to be like, oh, come in with a like an injury, like a. Because, like, you got to take care of yourself because at the end of the day, if you get re-injured, then it's going to take longer, yeah. you know what I'm saying? So always take, always listen to your body, you know? I, and I, I learned that because uh, I had tore my ACL playing flag football, and then I tried to go back too early, and it was like, yeah. so, like, you know what I'm saying? I learned that by experience. So, yeah, make sure you take care of yourself. Listen to your coaches because, mm -hmm. man, that's, that's a, it's a dangerous game, man. It's a dangerous game, but it is so much fun, yeah. and then it could lead you somewhere out of Toledo Way where, farther, yep. of course, because it can lead to beautiful things, you know? Okay, so where I wanted to go with that before we took a break, I wanted to um, ask you about like, your future. Like, I want to ask you, like, where do you, like, uh, college, I know that you still, you still haven't even stepped foot in college, right? But what do you, what do you plan on doing in college? Like, do you, what kind of players your college getting? Um... I would say they're getting a, uh, me. Um, I'm hardworking. Um, mm -hmm. I'm coachable. Uh, I'm very humble. Um, I'm just focused. Like uh, I block out like all the distractions and everything. So mm -hmm. I think like I'll just really be focused on football and school and just trying to get to where I want to be and mm -hmm. um, just trying to better myself as a player and better myself off the field also. Yeah. Yeah. And okay. So where do you want to be? What is your ultimate goal? Uh, to go to the NFL. To go to the NFL. Yeah. That is your your ultimate goal. Yeah, that's dope. And then okay, so what do you what do you what are you gonna study to like just in case any anything like that doesn't happen? Um, like, I think I'm uh gonna major in um business. Okay. Yeah, to make sure you have something to fall. Yeah. And and not only that, but when you do, I I don't believe that. I believe you're gonna make it to the NFL. Yeah. I just want to make sure that you you know what I'm saying yeah, that you yeah, have I something. Did. So, but that's gonna lead. You're gonna learn about business. So when you do make it to the NFL, you know how to manage your money. Yep. So that's beautiful. What team do you wish would pick you? I, it wouldn't matter to me to be honest. Like just yeah. being able to go to the NFL and even be on the NFL roster, like I would, yeah. I would be grateful for. Yeah, it. yeah, it really wouldn't to me. Like I, I, I just. Just ask that because I'm a Steelers fan. Because yeah. I, I really hope that you would reunite with the Steelers uh -huh. and be and be a Steeler again. Because you were a Steeler, that was like one of your first teams. Uh -huh. So that'd be sweet. But it doesn't matter. It, it doesn't matter if you go to the Browns, yeah. to the Jets, maybe even the Seahawks will pick you up, mm -hmm. and then you'll have to like the Seahawks again. Yeah. <laughs> that it'll be like a full circle. Uh -huh. I wasn't sure like where I was gonna take this whole conversation, but we we learned a lot about you and stuff. But there's also other things that I want to know, like. Like who who was your role models like growing up and stuff like that? Can you tell me a little bit about who inspired you to become? Um, I think just like me as a young kid, um, I would just like watch football on the TV. To be honest, like mm -hmm. I would just see people playing football, and like I would just envision myself at a young age just playing football and just me being outside, even playing football. Like I just enjoyed it as a young kid, and I think like over time. As I grew older, I think I just like fell in love with it. Mm -hmm. And just me watching football on the TV and just like college and everything, like just being on that bigger stage is like, I think I is where I wanted to be in life. Yeah. You don't have like a favorite uh, player growing up or nah, anything like that? No, no. I mean, like I liked players, but like I never really like had a favorite player like that. Mm -hmm. I would, no. Yeah. And then you said you did like the Seahawks a little bit. Yep. So you did watch some good defense because yeah. they used to be, yeah. what was it, the Legion of Boom or something? They had, um, I think they had. I, I used to watch Bobby Wagner. Like, oh yeah. yeah, they had Bobby Wagner. Um, yeah, he's dope. Yeah, Man, he was fire. They, they had a lot of. They had a lot of. Marshawn Lynch, yeah. or, but that was their. But what was the dude with the long hair? Richard Sherman. Yeah, Richard yep. Sherman. Mm -hmm. he they had to, another hard hitting safety. I think his name was. Uh, forgot what his last name. Was. Yeah, but they, they had all. Yeah, they had a lot of good people. Their whole defense was just yeah. fire for like a few years. They had uh, Ru Russell. What was the quarterback? Wilson. Russell Wilson, he just went to the Steelers. Yep. Yep. So I, okay, so, but how about, and you're like, you say your dad, your dad was like a big inspiration to you, right? Because he, he, you say he works out with you every day? Yeah, he, he, um, he, he pushes he's, me. He pushes day. you to yeah, become who you yeah, are, right? I'm better, yeah, to make sure I'm doing everything that I'm doing to 
reach my goals and everything. So yeah, he pushes me every day and motivates me every day. Okay. Yeah, and he's always and he's he's a good dad. He got your back with yeah, every yeah, time. Yeah, always in my ear. Yeah. yeah well, that's good, man. That's 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 beautiful because I even me I've made mistakes where I haven't been around my kids because I I ended up going to prison and losing a bunch of years and stuff. So it's beautiful to have your dad with you and especially the whole you know the whole trip and yeah. stuff and your mom how about your mom your well, mom yeah my mom is there also yeah supports she works, you yeah. and stuff she supports me whenever she works 12 hour shifts so she works yeah she works at gym so okay she, she, she always has a busy schedule but i mean she she supports me whenever she can she'll yeah. come to games she'll take off work on uh fridays to come to the game she she'll take off work sometimes to go down with visits with me and everything so yeah okay. i mean she's they both they both do a great job. Yeah. So you got a good a good support good support yeah. system. Mm -hmm. And then your friends and you have a girlfriend and stuff, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. So you got a really good support system coming yeah. from everywhere, right? Mm -hmm. That's dope. And then um you do you plan on like uh um like is your girlfriend going to live here in Toledo and you're going to live in in in, in wherever that co where is that college at? Uh, the college I'm going to is uh, in Athens, Ohio. It's like three hours away. Okay. Hours. So are you guys gonna have like a distant relationship yeah, for a little? She's also um, she's also going to college for cheer. Okay. Yeah, she's an athlete too. Yeah. She oh, is she? Yep. That's dope. So you guys are both on making sure you guys get a good, yeah. solid education, and you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. And then you guys can move on with your lives. Yeah. So is, what college is she going to? A whole different college far away? Yeah, I don't, I don't know what college she's going yeah. to. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I'm just saying, you guys aren't going to be like in the... No, we no, don't know yet. Yeah, 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 yeah. It might be. Who knows? Uh, she might be your cheerleader. <laughs> That'd be dope. Yeah, but who? Um, that's cool, man. Because that's support. You know what I mean? Yeah. Regardless, it's support. Helps you. It helps you become the person you, you're going to need. You're going to need that. Because I remember what earlier I was telling you about, like... Like I feel like I'm doing so much good things, yeah. but I like sometimes I feel I feel like I lack the support. I have the support from my wife and some of my close families, mm -hmm. but also and remember I I told you that's a lot of I, I was I was looking for support. So then I that's why I, a lot of it I felt like I needed some to go to church. I needed like a, a brotherhood, even though like I'm not 100% into the church yet. But I'm trying to find my way too, mm, yeah. and then, and that's gonna guide you too. Your your family, your friends. Not everyone's gonna support you, yeah. but the people that do support you, that's the people that we gotta look out for. Mm -hmm. And 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 that's me telling myself that too. Sometimes I'm worried about, man, how come this dude don't like you know my podcast or whatever? But really, why why should we even care? Like if that person doesn't support us, doesn't support us. We gotta like make sure that we're giving. Like I got, I, especially me, I got to make sure that I um, make good content for the people that are watching mm -hmm. and not, don't worry about the people that aren't watching. Yeah. So the same thing with you. So just focus on your family and your friends. And it's, it's a beautiful thing. All right. So, um, okay. Let me ask you like some fun questions. Let me see. There's just like little random questions that I ask some people. Like if, if, if your life was a movie, right? If your life was a movie, what would be the name of the movie? Uh, um, I never really thought about this. Yeah, uh, no, that, that, but just think about it. Mm, a, a movie title? Yeah, like... My life. Uh, I don't even know, to be honest. Yeah. Um, Something with football. Something with, uh, you know what I'm saying? Something, what, what, okay, how do you, how do you feel about like, like, okay, okay, you're, you're a great linebacker, right? You're hitting, mm -hmm. you, you like got people like, people are scared of you probably. They're, they're running backs like, man, I don't want to get tackled <laughs> by this dude again. So like that, that kind of stuff, that's like, okay, like, like uh, maybe like hard hit or like that kind of movie or, mm. or a linebacker movie or something like that. But, okay, okay, if you could go on any vacation in the world, where would be your favorite vacation? Um, I don't know, I, I don't really, I only been on vacation like once. I went to Orlando, Florida, I went to uh, Disney World, so that was probably okay. about the only, if I had to choose. Yeah, like Italy, France, uh, uh, um, Dubai, there's a bunch yeah, of cool I've seen, stuff. I've seen Dubai, but Dubai looks yeah. good, so yeah, I'd probably go there. Yeah, that'd be yeah. sweet. All right, so um, are you more of a morning person or are you more of a night owl? No, I'm I'm up at like four or five in the morning working on. So yeah, I'm up I'm up, in the up early. Yeah, yeah. So that's good. Do you, okay? Do you game? Do you like gaming and stuff like that? No, I, I haven't played my game in a while. To be honest, I, I haven't touched my game. Yeah, 
you're more focused on other things right yeah yeah, well, yeah. Once, once you like once you really like figure out what goals you want in life is gonna like you're gonna have to sacrifice yeah. a lot you're not gonna have time for a lot yeah all right tell me a little bit about uh your, your I, I i met you at church that's when i really met you that first day i've seen you around but i've never introduced me so tell me a little bit about how did you end up going to church like when when did that start um actually uh it was when i got with my girlfriend mm -hmm. um mia so I mean, like, I always, like, wanted to go to church and get closer with God until I didn't um, know she went to Compassion. So I started going to church with her. Mm -hmm. And then, um, like, I just I just felt like I needed to build a closer relationship with God and get yeah. closer with God to better myself, like, to become a better person. I think I just needed to make some changes in my life. Mm -hmm. And I feel like God would help me get yeah, through all of that. Absolutely. I feel like that, too. Because uh, I've always been a good person, a nice person, respectful, honest, mm -hmm. like you said. And then, but I still wanted to like, I want to learn more. And then when I started learning about Jesus, I was like, man, I have a lot of those traits. Like yeah. I'm good, I'm honest, I'm trying to do the right things, but I also have bad traits. Like mm -hmm. I was smoking weed, I cussed a lot. I, I, you know what I mean? I want to change that, but I'm like, I need, I need to find like a community, a, you know, a godly people, something. I was raised in church my whole life, mm -hmm. but I still wanted, I wanted more. And I and I know that once I learned about Jesus, you know you know a lot about Jesus or no? I'm uh I'm I wouldn't say I know a lot, but mm -hmm. I'm like I'm learning I'm learning every day. Learning every yeah, day. I'm, yeah, I read my Bible, so yeah, I'm, I'm yeah, learning yeah. Every That's day. good. Me too. I'm in the same. Yeah. I'm on the same road as you, man. I'm not saying I'm an expert at it or nothing, mm -hmm. but I feel like once we learn about Him, about Jesus, then we can realize that man. Jesus was a real person that actually came to Earth. People were touching him. That's why. That's why there's these like uh, Matthew, right? He was he followed him around because Matthew was uh, one of his followers, and he was a, a, a tax collector. And then Matthew uh, started following Jesus, and he started writing everything Jesus down meticulously. He even says it in the Bible. He meticulously wrote everything Jesus was doing. So the whole book of Matthew, Paul, James, like those, those are, um, I think they were called apostles, disciples. I'm not sure of the name, but they followed him around, mm -hmm. and they wrote everything down. And, and then when we read some of those books in the, in the book, in the Bible, it teaches us how, that there was really a man here that was saving people's lives. Yeah. He really was changing things. Yeah. That's when it woke me up. Like, mm. bro. And and I feel like if we do something good, like by you doing everything you're doing good, is giving a younger kid in your family or your friends or people that follow you or whatever hope. And yeah. that's and that, and that's what we need to give people. Mm. Like we need we need to give people hope. What do you think about that? Talk a little bit about that. Yeah, I think like just the city that we're in, Toledo, I feel like a lot of kids, you know, like a, a lot of people don't like really come out of Toledo, like they don't go big places. So I think just for me as a person, like having this, like the image that I have and being able to put out for younger kids, I think like it's a great opportunity and I, mm -hmm. and I use it. I try to use it as well as I can to give other kids like the opportunity, like to know that they, they can do the same thing that I'm doing. Like mm -hmm. it, it's not it's not impossible like you can yeah, yeah. you can do whatever you put your mind to like it, it is possible to get out of toledo and you just gotta like you just gotta really want it you gotta want it for yourself like you gotta separate yourself from different cr crowds like you gotta be different mm -hmm. and you really just gotta just focus yeah and then how, how how did how do you how do you do that how do you handle that how do you um say no to your friends when they're like hey man let's go to this party or whatever me, like before you had your girlfriend or whatever i don't know if you just i think like it's just me as a person like i was never really like the i was never really like the party type of oh, person okay. like me just growing up like i was just like always in the house like i was just playing the game like i was never really a people's person much mm -hmm. so i think like just me like i just never really like i was yeah. just never really outside or anything and then uh, I had a friend, um, I had a brother, Nico McIntyre, he ended up passing away. Oh, okay. Yeah, he, he died to gun violence, so that Man. really, like, just pushed me away from everything. Like, just Sorry kept to hear me, about that. Yeah, it just kept me, like, really focused on, like, football and just really getting out of here. It just made me realize, like, there's nothing in Toledo for me at all. So. Yes, sir. That's like a wake-up call. Yeah. That's what a wake-up call It's like a pivotal moment in your life that you're like, you know what, I'm not going to do that. I'm yeah. not going to go that route. Mm -hmm. Like, it, it sucks that things like that have to happen, you know what I'm saying? But by you realizing it, that's like a message from God sent to you, like, listen, like, this is like something that you need to make sure that you don't you stay away from them environments, yeah. you know? Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I'm really like, that's really dope. That's, I mean, not that all that happened, but yeah. it was really dope that you learned that to stay away from all that stuff. 
You know what I mean? Because mm-hmm. yeah, by by you doing that, you're setting examples all around the whole city that it's it's possible, yeah. and you're giving people hope to get out of here, and not only just get out of here, but just become somebody. You know what I mean? Yeah, become what you want to be in life. And like, I think I think a lot of kids like me. Me just growing up, like my dad surrounded me like with like the Zaya Cook. Like, um, she she's in the WNBA now. Like, I used to I, when I played basketball, I used mm-hmm. to train. I used to uh, go to workouts and I used to watch her like Zeb Jackson. He's in um, college right now. Like just surrounding yourself like by the people that you want to be in life. So I think like it's just all about who you surround yourself yeah. with. I think like if you separate yourself from the from the uh, from the wrong people and you get rid of the right people, I think like you'll go yeah. where you want to be in life. Yeah, that's really good advice. That's really good advice. Separate yourself from the wrong people and get get with the people that you admire. Mm-hmm. That you want to become a basketball player, football player, or even like football coaches and stuff that guide you the right way. Yeah, and then what you were saying earlier, like you're not really a people's person. I kind of at church, I, kinda, I you said hi to me, and you, <laughs> but you're more of a like you know yeah. you know you're not you're not open to talk to everybody and stuff. I, I can tell. I can tell. I was even kind of nervous. Like I was like, man, I wonder if he's gonna be talkative yeah. on my podcast, you know? Because like some people, they they don't they want to, you know, they they don't really talk because they don't they really know a lot of people. Mm-hmm. But I know when they sit down with me, I kind of open up to people, and I yeah. and I and I, a lot most people are talkative. I did have one guy one time, and I was asking him stuff, and I was like, so you play video games, right? He's like, yeah. <laughs> and I was like, all right. So what games? Like Call of Duty. <laughs> I'm like, oh man, this is gonna be a tough one, but yeah, but I'm I'm glad that and 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 you have to practice this because if you really want to go to you're gonna to go to college yeah. and you really want to make it to the NFL, this is part of it. Yeah, me like just going through high school, like the end of my sophomore year, going to my junior year, I just had the news coming up to the yeah. school. Like it was just interview after interview, so I, I really just had to get used to it. But I yeah. mean, it's what comes with it, so I mean, yes, I'm, I'm fine with that. Yep, yep. You're gonna have to practice this. So this is this is something like one, especially once uh, you know you've been on the news and you've been and you're gonna be on my podcast. Other people are probably gonna you know shoot you messages like, "Hey, get on my podcast." And then not only that, but you you can you're gonna have to start advertising. I mean, not advertising yourself more, but putting yourself out there more. So you know, have. Maybe someone manage a, 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 a social media, put yeah. like your highlights on there, that kind of stuff, because you want to make it to that next level. And then that next level comes with social media now. Not no negative social media, yeah. not nothing like bad. I'm talking about highlights, your positive things. So you're going to be helping out the community. Yeah. Uh, your college is going to put you in different situations. And then you're going to want someone to help you film that stuff. Maybe you'll get like a younger guy that's in like, Maybe at your college there's like a program where there's like videotaping and stuff, or and then you can have one of those guys work with you or make you you know some stuff, yeah. and then and then you you need to put that out there because that's going to be part of your marketing, mm. because it's not just about sports anymore. It's about you know somebody's going to want you to wear their shoes, somebody's going to yeah. want you to wear their logo. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Big Yogi's Garage can sponsor. You know what I mean? Yeah. That kind of stuff. You're going to want to work with all these people, and you got to grow. Your, your your social media presence, your speaking presence, and all that kind of stuff. All that comes together like a package deal. So you already know all that, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's good. So I, I appreciate you so much for um, for coming. Is there, is there anything else you want to bring up? Because I really can't think of much to... Uh, I know we've been talking for like at least like 45. I don't know. I'm not sure. Yeah. Um, and any, okay, how about coaches? You want to shout out any of your coaches? Or, was there any coaches that were really important throughout your journey? Um, I mean, stood I think, out this, or all of them or what? Yeah, I would I would uh, give a shout out to all my coaches. I mm-hmm. think like every every coach that that coached me throughout the way they they gave me some type of some type of advice or they like every coach that I've had has helped mm-hmm. me along the way but to become who I am today. So absolutely, yeah, every coach that I had, I think they've helped me along the way. Absolutely, and all your trainers and everything. Yeah, trainers, everybody. Yeah, yeah. Like, everybody that I've ever trained with or anybody, they've helped me progress along the way, and they've. They gave me advice and mm-hmm. just stuff about the game of football and just like about life and everything like that I didn't know before. So I mm-hmm. think everybody has helped me in a way. Yeah, that's beautiful. And then do you, um, give me some advice for uh, any young kids that are uh, want to be football players or even just just to be a good person in life. Um, I think uh, you need to um, stay humble. You need to. Uh, like just humble yourself. Like don't don't get a big ego. Um, I think you need to be respectful to whoever whoever you're around. 
um, your grades, your grades are a big part in um, football and just in life. Like you aren't going to go anywhere without the good grades in school. Um, mm -hmm. You just need to like just be you. Um, don't don't get into the wrong crowds. Uh, just stay true to yourself. Um, and if you have dreams, just do whatever you can to achieve them. Don't let anybody tell you different in life. I mean, whatever you want to do in life, you can do it as long as you put your mind to it. Um, and I think another part, a big factor is uh, just, you know, like get right with God, like go to church, just like like get in the word of Jesus and Christ. And um, yeah. Yeah. I appreciate that. And then uh, your 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 uh, ninth grade, right? Your yeah, your freshman. Yes, yeah, uh, most important year. Yeah. Uh, college coaches look at all your grades, but freshman year is your most important year. That's your first year of high school. A lot of a lot of kids, like when you go to high school, they think like it's like mess around and everything. But, like you you got to be serious. Like you got to be on top of your grades and you got to be focused. Like you really got to separate yourself from the other groups and peoples. Like if you really want if you really want to go somewhere with football, so. Mm. Yeah, you just got to separate yourself and stay on top of your grades because if you fall behind, you don't have a lot of time to catch back up. Yes, sir. Jason Kelly, thank, thank you, you so much yeah. for uh, giving me the pleasure to interview you here on Big Yogi's Garage. I appreciate you guys so much for watching Big Yogi's Garage. Um, make sure you follow uh, Jason Kelly on Instagram. You have a, an Instagram, and it's just your name, right, yeah, Jason, Jason Kelly? Jason Kelly Jr. Yep. Jason Kelly Jr. Follow him. He's going to do big things, man. And then hopefully whenever you, whenever you want, you can just reach out to me. Yeah, if you got anything you ever want to talk about when you're in college or even if you, when you make it to the NFL, I would, have, I would love for you to yeah, come on yeah. and, and, and you know, give Yo Big Yogi's Garage a shout out. Yeah, I got you. All right? Yep. Um, thank you guys so, so much for watching. Please subscribe, share, um, and we're going to end it at let go and let God. Thank you. Let's go. Cool.